my first guest is uh, probably best known for his portrayal of the intelligent but deadly replicant in the classic science fiction film Blade Runner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rutger Hauer. Rutger. <laughs> See, man, you were so good at that that, what is it now, 10, 12 years down the line? 12. Yeah. I'm still introducing you like that. Does that bug you, or are you just happy that you carved something out that's going to stand up for a long time? Uh, no. It's, uh, Blade Runner is probably one of the most unique films. It's number one on Laserdisc, and, you know, it's, it, was, uh, it was denied a nice uh, or at least a decent uh, screening. So, and people have, uh, you know have supported the, the video. And so now, I think in September, is the plan that uh, Ridley Scott will have his final cut. Oh, yeah? <laughs> because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't his final cut yet. But uh, they're, he's going back to the, uh, to the editing room, and he'll finish it. Did that film not do well? I, I don't remember the numbers. The film, the film has been doing well over the last 12 years. Uh, but it didn't do well when it came out. People were very depressed, and I remember uh, standing in the, in the audience, and half of the window, I saw the pressing. And the other half, <laughs> you know, the other half was very pleased with, with the film. Yeah. So I, uh, I guess it was a little ahead of its time, whatever that means. Well, not much, though. When I think of that image, I mean, it's funny to me, films at some point become pictures that stick in your head. And that riveting image of you at the end looking down on him as he's helpless in the water. I mean, isn't that weird? I mean, that's like over 3,000 yeah, days ago. That still sticks in my head. I can that's see what that. I, you know, that's what we're here for. We try, and it doesn't always work. But that's what you want to do, yeah. I guess. You want to sort of stick it in people's soul and hope that it will stay. Well, that stuck with me, at least.